a new website and maps and all the little ding dong stuff that people just love and they they call me up and say we want to do this and we want to do that and we want to do the other and I say great and they say can you draw it and I say no and they say okay and they go away and they do it themselves it's terrific <laughs> but that happened after 10 years of the slog so hang in so I think we have one minute so I think we're just, let's go give away that book <laughs> how? How? What, what can we decide for how we can give away the book? Maybe you should come up with a number and whoever calls it out. In oh, oh. <laughs> like, a, like a Chris oh, Angel style? Yeah, it gives everybody like level the playing field. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait, so is it like one united number? And then someone's no, going to... I think, you know. Pick somebody. We, we could just hear the questions without giving them answers. Yeah, really? <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. We should have we should have had that planned out. Hey, who in the room is insecure? Yeah, yeah. Who's, a birthday? who's insecure oh, about their work? Birthday. Show of hands. Who's a little insecure? That's it. Everybody else knows what they're doing. I'm shocked. I just always ask that question. You know, All right. Who here has a comic book already out and is insecure? I feel like. Who really wants four. this? Okay. okay. Who's willing to kill another person to get this book? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. I think we should. Maybe like we should. Then. Maybe we should take those out because uh, you know, really, yeah. there is no one book with all the answers. Wait, Taylor, here's, the, here's the real question: Who's going to buy everyone's book on the stage? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the hat in the back right, first. Down to three. We're down to three. Okay. Down to three. I like this. Uh, anybody up for Irish clog dancing? I don't know. I have back to Brooklyn. There you go. Yeah, you don't have to buy anything. <laughs> T-shirts. I have no way. Some, someone, someone. You, you got it. You're in charge. You got to just hand it to the guy. That's a good gal. I was, I was actually writing Personal. the questions down. If, if it is. Oh, you don't write yeah, it. All right. The there you go. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, okay, who's got a really innovative idea for uh, for for promoting a web a comic or a web comic? Who wants to stand up and talk? Yeah. Oh, and stand up. Turn it back. Hop up. Okay. Um, Projects. All right. Hi. 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 We had this idea of um, doing something where you break down the fourth wall of the comic and involve the actual people who created the comic in the marketing aspect. So, like, maybe the creator is having a conversation with the character, mm -hmm. and the character is like, no, no, I, I don't like this. Why, why did you write that? I would never do something like that. Okay, just so that would be for, for example, a website, or would that be a comic itself? To promote the comic to itself, promote the comic. but that would okay. just be kind of something that would show up on YouTube. Okay, well that's fun. Who else has got one? Well, for, to promote my new book, Golden Girl, I'm going to have a professional costume maker build a costume, and I'm going to have a model, Spunk Smile, in front of our booth next year to promote it, because Who's gonna read this? I, okay. I gotta have some gimmick to draw somebody to the table. So you're gonna have a pretty girl in a costume. <laughs> yep. Who's got another one? Animation guy. I'm standing high. Um, so I'm doing a series of uh, DJ mixtapes to promote a character and a story that I'm writing. Uh, okay. DJ Cutman. So I have a series of mixtapes with a narrative written into the mixtapes, like through samples from movies and stuff like that. Okay. And then I'm simultaneously releasing the story on my blog so you can listen to the mixtape. And right. then read chapters on the blog. Okay. So there's like a music component, a graphic component, and then the written component online. Yeah. Okay. I want to hear what this guy's going to say. Sure. One of the things that I did to promote my web comics is to link my blog, Facebook, Twitter, everything all into one site. So every time I update a page, boom, the web comic is right out there Very in people's good. faces. Okay. That's a good idea. And I and I draw one and I draw one of the best orc porn web comics hands down. <laughs> 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 I've had to read those things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're you got to use them for different audiences. Like certain people are going to follow you on Facebook, and certain people are going to follow you follow you on Twitter. So maybe I don't know. I don't. I feel like personally, I feel like you should adjust how you promote to each one. Well, normally I do. Okay. It, it depends. You split personalities. Right? Yeah. 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 You got to split go. personalities. There you go. So is this Sir Daniel the point? I, I think she gets book for the art porn. <laughs> <laughs> We're handing out best you know art porn now. Who, who is the person that asked about the traditional background in comics, or is this a good story? Fellow right there. There you go. Yeah. Sir, yeah. God. you are the chosen. But you know, Jimmy still has to sign it. But you're right. the chosen one. Jimmy, <laughs> there you go. Thank you, everybody. This is my favorite question. Get the book.
Thank you. 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 Thank